From there, we take the 360 degree logic to its square cornered form. Here at Dasher in Egypt, about nine minutes south of Giza, we find the so-called Bent Pyramid, a monument whose slope angle changes about halfway up its face, presenting what is readily seen as two separate bodies. Egyptologists advise us that the reason for these two different slope angles was due to engineering considerations. Too much weight bearing downward would have caused the sides to buckle and the monument would have self-destructed. Therefore, the ancient builders decided to lower the slope angle at the halfway mark. That's more baloney than we hear in the average political campaign speech. Egyptologists are not going to want to hear this, but Seneferu's engineers knew exactly what they were doing. True, the lower slope angle at 54.7 degrees was a few degrees steeper than Giza's Great Pyramid, but it posed no risk of collapse. Angle and weight were no problem. Over at Tikal in Guatemala, the Mayans had no trouble with collapsing pyramids, and they didn't have squared block construction in their monuments. Here, pyramid interiors were rubble, and the outer veneer merely cemented field stone. The 228-foot-tall Temple 4 had a slope angle of 72.6 degrees, not 54 as on Seneferu's, and it's still there. Therefore, if there is any substance to what the Egyptologists assert as the reason for the bent pyramids being bent, then none of the Mayan pyramids should have reached us intact. This design affords an observer the opportunity to see additional numbers beyond those available from a true pyramid design. Here, instead of only four sides, we see eight. And rather than seeing four base corners and an apex, we see eight corners and an apex. That's nine. 360 degrees times eight times nine, 25,920. This figure encodes its actual latitude of 29 degrees, 47 minutes, and 19.01 seconds. It was deliberately bent in order to show anyone why it is where it is. There were no engineering problems. A second reason for breaking an otherwise perfect 360 degree base design was to reveal two bodies of 360 degrees. What happens when we divide 360 by two? 180, of course which answers its longitude nicely. But not its longitude from our modern Greenwich. The prime meridian of the Pyramid Age was predicated on the position of the Great Pyramid, from which the Bent Pyramid lies to the east. These pyramids are points in a remarkable global matrix which explains a global positioning system involving the mathematical precisions of the Earth. Why haven't we seen this before? Because the questions we have been asking of the pyramids are inadequate. Who built them, when, and how are irrelevant. We should have been asking why they are where they are, and why they were built the way they were built. And they made it so easy for us. We have even known the measurements of the Bent Pyramid for some time. But since we do not understand the language of the age, we can't read the figures. The height of the lower body, for example, 160.996 feet, is the square root of 25,920. It's grid latitude. 